Welcome to your third um, assembly programming tutorial news. And in this tutorial we're actually going to be building a working software. So now I'm going to explain it very deeply and we'll actually be building a working software. So um, I guess the first instructions is ARC 100H. Now this is where I explained it uh, in the last tutorial. I'm going to explain it a little bit better now. 100H is where the program is going to be loaded into memory as, as I explained. Um, 100H is just a standard for 16-bit applications. You know that's the kind of app we're going to be building, and it's a big topic. Um, how programs should be loaded into memory, but right now we'll just be going with 100H. Now the next instruction is U16, which tells we're going to be using 16-bit for our application. That's also a big topic, um, like most of assembly is. Now, assembly is not a case-sensitive programming language, but I'm still going to be doing it anyways because I like to keep order, so I'm going to tap forward. That's why I did it. It's not really necessarily. So we're going to learn the move instruction, which MOE stands for moving, and but it basically does it's moving something into something. It's there. This is what most uh, most of your software is going to build up by. But l let me uh, type a little bit more so I can easily explain. Move, uh, your move. But it's someone might be thinking that you're moving H into one zero nine, but that's not true. You're moving. 9 into AH. Now, you might be thinking, why 9? Um, why AH? Basically, uh, 9 is the DOS print string function. Uh, and we're going to be moving it into our AH register. So um, it knows that, alright, so we're actually going to be working with uh, text, basically. Um, so the next instruction is move DX MSG. And Ms. G is a constant or a kind of a variable. DX is a general purpose register like AH. Um, DH stands for DX stands for data register, I think. I can't remember totally. And there's a ton of others, of course. Um, this is the location where the memory is going, where the data will start in our memory. Now, the next instruction we'll give it is int um, 21H. Now, you might be thinking that in stands for integer if you're working with another program language. In assembly it stands for interrupt. It stops all other it doesn't stop the other applications you're running but it doesn't really care. Uh, Windows is made in assembly so that's why Windows can be so quick. Um, uh, it's in order to speed up the app. It's good. It looks where the other um, variable moves and then waits and will put the data into the memory. So it's looking AH and looking at the instruction gave it and then it goes to the next part. Now let's keep the windows open and print out our text. So first we're going to move AH again into zero 01 and uh, 1 is the significance of the wait key function in DOS. So it's going to say wait and it's we. Uh, we're going to interrupt again and wait to see what AH says, so it's going to keep the windows open. Now let's actually work with the text. Move AH for CH, so when it's finished waiting for this, do this. Now it's moving CH into AH. Um, CS is the inquilient. Uh, if we didn't have this instruction, we'll have a, a few errors when standard program. It wouldn't look right, it would be kind of, you know, bugging. So the last instruction, or not the last, the last built-in we're going to be using is 21H again. So it's looking at H and waiting again. So now let's print out the text. MSG, which is the variable we created here. And then DB, which stands for, uh, DB stands for defined bytes. And then we're going to be uh, using ASCII text. And here we're going to type in like, hello world from assembly. Um, assembly. So let's make this readable for us by using a zero h a h um, uh, and a dollar sign. So zero a h uh, is ASCII text, so we can understand what's coming up, and the dollar sign um, is the 
function uh, at the end where our string is supposed to be so the program will work correctly. So uh, let's go ahead and copy. Of course, we will need to copy this text uh, into our uh, flat assembler uh, software. Sorry. Um, so this is how it looks here. You might be understanding why I prefer using uh, Notepad++. But uh, let's go ahead and save it and compile and see if we got errors. Look fine, and let's run it. So it's of course saying one or more blah blah blah. You you shouldn't worry about that. But you can see it says hello world from assembly. Now let's just I'm just going to prove to you guys that it actually works. Um, so I'm going to shut down our application and change a little bit uh, in now uh, in our code. I'm going to rename this constant to say and type in say here and type in uh, oh my goat oh my goat just in order to prove to you guys I save it that it will work again compile looks fine let's run it oh my goat so it's still fine you can rename the constants whatever you want so basically that's it for this tutorial guys hope you enjoyed hope you learned something and I will see you in the next tutorial